Hey guys, I wanted to make a very quick tutorial here on how to create an Android backup with a custom recovery. Now you can also use ADB to back up your device directly to a computer, but it's a little bit more complicated, so we'll leave that alone for now. If you don't have a custom recovery installed, check out the link in the description on how to install one. Now, Nandroid backups have saved me plenty of time and effort countless times and is pretty much a Flashaholic's best friend. I get no end of questions asking me, my device is in a boot loop after flashing XYZ, what do I have to do now? Well, a Nandroid is a quick way to get your system back and working. It takes between, I'd say, three to five minutes depending on how many apps you have and is much, much quicker than having to factory reset the entire device and start over from scratch, including installing all your apps again. So it's definitely worth it. So firstly, we have to boot into the custom recovery. If you have a custom ROM that supports the advanced pan menu, you can simply head over to reboot, then recovery and press OK and you're good to go. If not, turn off the device using the power off function as you normally would. Wait for the device to turn off. You might feel a slight vibrate when it's fully off. Then press and hold the volume down button, followed by pressing and holding the power button for a few seconds. And eventually you should be greeted with the bootloader screen, as you can see right here. So once you're here, use the volume rockers to scroll through until you see recovery shown at the top. Then you can use the power button to enter. The device should eventually boot into the recovery. I'm using TWRP, but they all have the Nandroid backup feature, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so once booted, go into the backup section. It will show you what's going to be backed up. I have system, data, and boot selected. I wouldn't recommend backing up cache normally as it can cause a few weird problems in some cases. The FS or EFS partition also isn't really needed on an LG device, although if you're being extra cautious, you could back those up too as it contains your IMEI number. If you're on a Samsung device though, I do recommend you backing those up. You can change the name of the backup by hitting the backup name bar at the top and you can call it whatever you want. By default, I think it has the date and the build number of the ROM you're currently on. I'm going to call this Marty because that's the ROM I'm on and it makes it a little bit clearer for me. You have a compression option which makes the backup smaller but it takes much more time to complete. You can see the individual sizes for each partition as well. It's not going to be a small backup. The data partition alone is over 2.5 gigabytes. You're looking at a total of probably three to four depending on how many apps you have. Once you're ready, just swipe to back up and off it goes. Now, this does not back up your SD card partition for your device, so it won't be backing up your pictures or videos, but it's great for those people who love to flash new ROMs or new kernels. If something goes wrong and you get yourself into a boot loop, which has happened to me countless times, then an Android is going to get you out of that situation and give you your exact system that you backed up. So ROM settings, launchers, home screens, apps, it'll be like nothing went wrong and you'll have a perfectly working system system as you did before, so it's definitely worth doing. Once it's completed, it will tell you the write speeds and how long it took. You can reboot the system to go back into your normal daily ROM, or you can go back and flash a new ROM or a custom kernel. Of course, if you don't want these Nandroids on your device, you can transfer them to a PC and then you can transfer them back when you actually want to restore. To do that, it's as simple as just tapping into restore and then you can either choose to restore the whole ROM, you can just swipe to do that, or you can actually choose the individual partitions, so that's completely up to you. Of course, you can either rename that backup and also delete it. For me, this is one of the most important things you should be doing before flashing anything on your device. It's going to save you loads of time when you get into a boot loop, and if you're flashing a lot, you will get into a boot loop, and you just don't want to be resetting your whole device installing all your apps again. So there you go guys, let me know what you think. Peace out.